Yo, so guys, TCYD7 here. Uh, today, I'll be showing you guys my Twixter velocity settings and the, uh, honestly, one of the best velocities I've seen uh, while editing. And I'm going to share it with you guys and give you a free preset in the description. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to zoom in and look at the ammo at the bottom right. As you can see, this character is using a deagle and uh, it goes from 7 to 6 on the frame that it goes from seven to six you're gonna cut so here it's seven here it's six so on the frame uh that is seven so when it's still seven you're gonna create a split and then you can just uh make it back to fit now what you're gonna want to do is go to twixter twixter and twixter pro i don't know the difference so i'll just use twixter pro and you're just gonna insert it now that you have this what you're gonna do is go one uh, frame backwards from when the clip starts so you can see that this is a clip starting and then one frame back and you're gonna keyframe the speed at 100 now you can just hit u on your clip so it pops up uh right here now you're gonna go one frame forward and change the speed to 600 after that you're gonna go five frames forward so one two three four five and you're gonna change it to 60 now you're going to go to the very end of your clip, so right here, and uh, from the very end of the clip, you're going to go three frames back, so one, two, three, and keyframe this at 20. Now, as you can see, uh, you have all these linear keyframes, which is not good, so we're going to select all of these and hit F9, or if you don't have F9 on your keyboard, right click, keyframe assistant, and uh, easy ease. Now that we have this, you're just going to click on one of them and hit the graph. Now it should look like this. If you're looking at something like this, uh, it kind of looks the same, but it will look different. You're just going to right click and go to edit value graph. Now that you're here, you're going to click on the top one and hold down shift, which locks it to the axis and drag it to the very left. Now you're going to do the same thing for the bottom point. Click it, hold shift and drag it to the very left so now if we play it again it looks really good